Sarah and Kelly, good to see you here in Europe. Uh, Sarah, the last time we uh, spoke, this was in Santa Cruz in the middle of the NCAA season, and you told me that you would love to play on the World Tour with UC on your back. Now it's happened such fast that you're not competing so bad. It's a total opposite. So summarize it. How, how do you do you uh, get this feeling here on the World Tour and what, what is the difference to the collegiate season? It's been really amazing because last time we talked, we didn't even know if we would make it into these tournaments, to be honest. It was just kind of something we were striving for and potentially getting wild cards for, but now we're here getting in the main draw on our own. It's, it's a really cool experience and um, having a couple of top 10 finishes has been absolutely amazing and we're, we're excited for Vienna and to continue um, and just gain as much, as much experience as we can. Your, uh, last season you played Klagenfurt the first time there you I think you never played this before so did something change until yet so that you know the teams better and they now know your over the shoulder look and hit? <laughs> yeah exactly you gotta um, bring out some new tricks and I think we've learned new tricks you know watching other teams and other teams are you know watching us play so you know we're all making adjustments and it's really cool to be out here um, learning every single time we play every single time we watch it's awesome. And uh, I think uh, other big difference is that you need to organize it on your own and I think you can take the money afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so um, What are the opposites? So there are some things to organize, it's a little bit harder, but there are also, what is the impression for to being on your own here? Yeah, there is definitely a lot of changes we've been going through because USC provided us pretty much everything. So now we're on our own with travel, food, hotels, coaching. Um, so we we've really just had to try and establish all of that on our own and we've just been working together and I think we're getting better at it as we go along we're Slowly still sure. yeah <laughs> there's still a lot of uh, things to be learned but I think that's just part of being a rookie out here is <laughs> just so you booked your flight home uh, for tomorrow on your own or did you call an agency we initially booked it for Sunday but uh, we just got it switched yeah because you expected to win the cowbell that was, that was the goal but you yeah. know not as not exactly what we wanted but you know again like i said earlier we're out here learning but you you uh, get got told from the other team that they want to get a podium here because there is special that you get this cowbell did you uh, we, yeah. we've heard about this cowbell <laughs> we were actually talking to sean Rosen, rosenthal who's i think mm -hmm. won it three times yeah. so <laughs> they were talking about how loud it actually rings and yeah. we got a little jealous so hopefully next year we'll be on that podium yeah But before next year, in a few weeks, there are the world champs, and you also qualified. Congrats to yeah, this. And um, your pool is looks like not so hard. So how do you prepare in front of that? You you flying home, then coming back. But what do you expect from the world champs? Um, we're gonna just try to go out there and do as well as we possibly can. We're kind of focusing. We have Long Beach next, and we go to Poland. So our Our sights are on it, but not our whole focus is on it yet. We're taking, you know, one tournament at a time, but we'll sit down, we'll watch film, and we'll we'll grind through and do our best. And do you get the coaching staff from the USA Volleyball, or do you, or is Dan play, helping you, or who is hitting balls on you before you play? <laughs> For these past couple of tournaments, it's just been Kelly and I. We we've, we've picked up a few friends along the way who've been really nice enough to just kind of get out on the court and serve us but uh, we officially have a coach Jose Loyola um, who's going to be traveling with us he'll be there in Long Beach Poland and Vienna so we're really lucky to have him and all of the USA staff is super supportive and um, we really appreciate everything they do okay then thank you very much yeah. it is a pleasure to have you here on the world too it's always fun and um, see you on the world champs and much success there and we talk there again thank, thank you, you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>